Good evening. On behalf of Pat and Jim and Kathy and Joe, I welcome you all here this evening as their son, Brian Michael, and her daughter, Lauren Elizabeth, begin their life together as husband and wife. And now, as Lauren and her dad come in, please stand. <coughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we begin this celebration of the Sacrament of Matrimony, we pray that for Brian James and Lauren Elizabeth, this be the beginning of a relationship that will not only endure, but transform. We pray that God's love be seen in this sacrament. We pray that God's love be seen in the very fabric of our lives. Let us pray. Father, you have made the bond of marriage a holy mystery, a symbol of Christ's love for his church. Hear our prayers for James and Lauren, for Brian and Lauren, for Brian, Michael, and Lauren Elizabeth. Brian James. My nephew's name is Brian Michael. So. So. Hear our prayers for Brian James and Lauren Elizabeth. My mother's name is Elizabeth. So. You have made the bond of marriage a holy mystery symbol of Christ's love for his church. With faith in you and in each other, they pledge their love this evening. May their lives always bear witness to the reality of that love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please be seated for our first reading. A reading from the book of Ruth. But Ruth said, Do not urge me to leave you or to return from following you. 
For where you go, I will go, and where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God my God. Where you die, I will die, and there will I be buried. May the Lord do so to me, and more also, if anything but death parts me from you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from John. So we have come to know and to believe the, lo the love that God has for us. God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God, and God abides in him. By this, by this thesis, love perfected with us, so that we may have confidence for the day of judgment, because as he is also are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not perfected in love. We love because he loved, he loved us first. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Next is a gospel reading. Please stand. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus looked up to heaven and prayed, Holy Father, I do not pray for my disciples alone. 
I pray also for those who will believe in me through their word, that all may be one, as you, Father, are in me and I in you. I pray that they may be one in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. I have given them the glory you gave me, that they may be one as we are one, I living in them, you living in me, that their unity may be complete. So shall the world know that you sent me and that you love them as you love me. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. My dear Lauren Elizabeth and Brian James, you are about to enter into a union which is most sacred and most serious, a union which was established by God alone in the most intimate and solemn union of conjugal love. God provided that man and woman should truly become for each other a source of blessing and happiness, and that in their love, they should grow in their love for the divine. By this love, God has given us a share in the greatest work of creation, the work of the continuation of the human race. This marriage is very serious and very joyful. It is a combination of elements that seem to be disparate. It's a most serious moment. In our Lord Jesus Christ's love, he showed how we should live for one another. The great apostle Paul used the image of marriage to describe Christ's own love for his church, that is, for the people of God whom he redeemed by his own blood. And so he gave the Christians a new life, a new vision of what marriage should be, a life of self-sacrificing love, as Jesus' own life was a sign of self-sacrificing. This union then is most serious. It will bind you together for life in a relationship so close and so intimate that it will profoundly influence your whole future. That future with its hopes and disappointments, its successes and its failures, its pleasures and its pains, its joys and its sorrows, lies hidden from your eyes. You know that these elements are mingled in every life and are to be expected in your own. And so not knowing what lies before you, you are here to take each other for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health until death. The compelling gravity of these words cannot be denied. It is a beautiful tribute to your faith in each other that recognizing their full meaning, you are nevertheless ready and willing to pronounce them and to honor the pledge to generous devotion and self-sacrificing love contained in them. Henceforth, you will belong to each other, and knowing that you will never be able to selfishly possess the individual person of the other, you will nevertheless strive for that unity of mind, heart, and affections, which is the true joy of marriage. Whatever sacrifices you may hereafter be required to make to preserve this life of love, always make them generously. Sacrifice is usually difficult and irksome. Only love can make it easy, and perfect love can make it a joy. We are willing to give in proportion as we love. When love is perfect, sacrifice is complete. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and the Son so loved us that he died for our salvation. No greater blessing can come to your married life than pure conjugal love loyal and true to the end. May this love then with which you join your hands and hearts this evening never fail. And may our Lord Jesus Christ grant that you may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in loving that we are loved, and it is in dying to ourselves that we're born to eternal life. We come now to the heart of this marriage ceremony, 
and that is the exchange of consent. And for that, I ask you to please stand. My dear Lauren Elizabeth and Brian James, you have come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of this community. Christ abundantly blesses this love. He has already consecrated you in baptism, and now he enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament so that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Brian and Lauren, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? We have. Will you love and honor each other as husband and wife for the rest of your lives? We will. Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? We will. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, now join your hands and declare your consent before God and the church. I, Brian James, take you, Lauren Elizabeth, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Lauren Elizabeth, take you, Brian James, to be my husband, promise to be true to you, in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will honor you, I will love you, and honor you all the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. What God has joined, no one must ever attempt to divide. Now that you have sealed a truly Christian marriage, exchange your wedding rings as a sign of your love and fidelity. Lord God, we ask you to bless these rings, which Brian and Lauren will give to each other as a sign of their love and fidelity in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lauren Elizabeth. Take and wear this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Brian James. Take and wear this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I call upon all of you here present to be witnesses of, it, to be witnesses of this holy union which I have now blessed. No one must ever attempt to separate what God has joined together.
will now ask the new bride and groom to light the unity candle. This time of promise is also a time of prayer. We lift our voices now in petition and pray together, a universal prayer, asking for God's help in every measure of our daily lives. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of our church and state, for head of institutions, for heads of households, that they lead us and guide us in search for God and the good life, in the search for peace and joy, in the search for love among us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all married people, for those who married yesterday, for the new couple, Lauren and Brian, married today, for those who will marry tomorrow, that they may savor the joy of being together, warm love and children, a long life, wine and friends, and a new day every day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all young single people who look forward to a vocation full of life and full of love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the lonely old and the lonely young, for the hungry rich and the hungry poor, for the sick in body, mind, and spirit, for the weakness in all of us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our relatives and friends who walk with us on life's journey, for those who have gone before us to the other side of life, for the fulfillment of all their unfulfilled desires, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, you are the author of our every joy. There is no happiness of ours that you do not author, no pain of ours that does not echo in the recesses of your divine heart. Bless this day as it has already been blessed by Brian and Lauren's love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Let us ask God for his continued blessing upon this bridegroom and his bride. Holy Father, creator of the universe, maker of man and woman in your own likeness, source of blessing for married life, we humbly pray to you for this couple, today united in the sacrament of marriage. May your fullest blessing come upon them so that they may together rejoice in your gift of married love and enrich your church with their children. Lord, may they both praise you when they are happy and turn to you in their sorrows. May they be glad that you help them in their work and know that you are with them in their need. May they pray to you in the community of the church and be your witnesses in the world. May they reach old age in the company of their friends and come at last to the kingdom of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
pray now Jesus' prayer as we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. May Almighty God, with his word of blessing, unite your hearts in the never-ending love, in the never-ending bond of pure love. May your children bring you happiness, and may your generous love for them be returned to you many times over. May the peace of Christ live always in your hearts and in your home. May you have true friends to stand by you both in joy and in sorrow. May you be ready and willing to help and comfort all who come to you in need. And may the blessings promised to the compassionate be yours in abundance. May you find happiness and satisfaction in your work. May daily problems never cause you undue anxiety, nor the desire for earthly possessions dominate your lives. But may your heart's first desire be always the good things waiting for you in the life of heaven. May the Lord bless you with many happy years together, so that you may enjoy the rewards of a good life, and after you have served him loyally in his kingdom on earth, may he welcome you to his eternal king. May he welcome you to his eternal kingdom in heaven. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lauren and Brian go in peace, and may the Lord always, always, always be with you. you want to kiss him? Yes. yes. <laughs> Do it.